welcome back to Shin's Kitchen and today we'll be making this easy delicious orange glazed baked chicken recipe. Let's get started! We are going to be making some all-purpose seasoning. We will add half tablespoon of garlic powder, half tablespoon of paprika, half tablespoon of cayenne pepper, half tablespoon of onion powder, half tablespoon of black pepper, half tablespoon of dried thyme, half tablespoon of ginger powder, and half tablespoon of salt. So you're going to go ahead and mix this together. For this recipe, we will be using around three tablespoons of this mixture. You can store the rest for later. Right here, I have my chicken legs. I will add around a tablespoon of cooking oil to my chicken. Then I will go ahead and add around one tablespoon of my all-purpose mix. I will add one teaspoon of chili flakes because I like my food spicy. Now it's time to rub it in, rub, 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 rub it in. I'll add a little bit more of my all-purpose seasoning because my chicken wasn't looking how I want it to look, you know what I mean? Once I'm done rubbing, I will share a trick with you, which is to take a knife or fork to poke your meat. Poke it, poke it, poke it. Yes, poke it. It will help the seasoning to soak into the meat. I got my baking tray and I drizzle some oil to coat the bottom. Now I will add my chicken legs, <laughs> line them up nicely and maximize on the space. I'm not letting any of my seasoning go to waste, so I wipe the bowl clean and rub it all over my chicken. I got some oranges here that I received from my friend during Chinese New Year. She has a tree in her backyard and trust me, these oranges are so delicious. I placed a few slices of orange on top of my chicken so that the juice can soak in while it bakes. Place your chicken into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for one hour. To my saucepan on low heat, I'm going to add 50 grams of butter and once it melts, I will add half cup of orange juice. Let it come to a slow boil and then add one tablespoon of our all-purpose seasoning and combine. Mix, mix, mix. <laughs> Go ahead and add one teaspoon of parsley, one teaspoon of chili flakes. I didn't add salt because I added salt to my all-purpose seasoning, so it's not necessary. So add two tablespoons of honey and combine. Once your sauce is bubbling and everything is well combined, we're going to taste taste and adjust your seasoning. I added one tablespoon of honey for sweetness. My sauce needed just a little bit more. Once everything is combined, you will add your cornstarch slurry to thicken your sauce. It's just two tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with one tablespoon of water. Your sauce will thicken in less than 30 seconds. You're all done. Done, done, done. <laughs> Halfway through the cooking process, which is 30 minutes, I removed my chicken and oh my gosh, it was looking and smelling so good. I removed the orange slices so I can drizzle that sauce all over. I place my orange slices and pop it back in the oven. During the last 10 minutes, I remove the orange slices so that the top of my chicken can caramelize. Please do not skip this step. I swear it will make your chicken taste so delicious. 
after 30 minutes this was what my chicken was looking like and oh my gosh it looks so yummy and delicious i couldn't wait to start eating this like if you like this give the video a thumbs up like this was so so delicious i served this up with some rice and peas and mashed potatoes and oh my gosh it was so delicious if you enjoy watching this video please consider subscribing and giving my video a thumbs up like share and subscribe